Hey, it's Kasim with Solutions 8, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use structured snippets. Um, if you're not aware, extensions are so critically important for the health of your campaign. Uh, Google prioritizes extensions in ad rank, which means that they're going to take the extensions that you're using into consideration when they decide how much you pay, where you rank, uh, how you stack up against competitors, whether or not you even show up. So use as many extensions as you can, uh, exhaust them. I've already uh, created videos on structured, or excuse me, on site link extensions and call out extensions. So if you haven't seen those, go watch those. I'll make sure to link those in uh, the description of this video. And uh, on this video, we're gonna go over structured snippets. So um, just so you know how to get to where I am, if you're inside of a campaign under ads and extensions, uh, go down to extensions. And um, this is where we're going to build our extensions. So you know what structured snippets looks like. Let's go uh, structured snippets. I just wanna pull up an example for you so you can see. Um, structured snippets, it's all in the name really. What it's doing is it's allowing you, it's almost kind of like call it extensions. It's allowing you to add additional context to your ads based off of uh, categories. So they're sort of categorically aligned. So here's an example, styles, aviator, wayfair, clubmaster, round custom. Um, here's another one, services. So you pick a heading, you pick uh, uh, the category, and then you define the values um, that people can uh, sort of, you know, peruse, let's say, uh, the types. And if we dive into structured snippets, I'll show you how this is built. So what you're gonna do is when you're in extensions, you're gonna click on this little plus bubble, and then we're going to select structured snippets. And then uh, a couple of things. One is going to add us or ask us where we want to add this. Is this account level, campaign level, or ad group level? This is actually a really important um, strategic decision that you're going to make because if the structured snippets that you're creating are only applicable to an individual ad group, then you want to make sure that you're only applying them to that ad group. However, if these you think are going to be um, compatible for your entire uh, account, then you can add them to the account level and now they become accessible to uh, all the campaigns throughout the rest of your account. Um, I'm going to add this to the ad group now because you know we want to be careful about adding things uh, account wide. Um, Couple of notes here is we can uh, create brand new extensions or use existing ins extensions to kind of build on top of. Um, so this is kind of cool for you just in case you have uh, pre-existing extensions and you don't want to reinvent the wheel. I'm going to create new for the sake, sake of this tutorial. Uh, the header, we get to choose the language, which is kind of cool because it allows you to build um, extension libraries, basically, especially if you have like a multilingual offering. And then we're going to choose the header type. This is the category I'm talking about. Now you'll notice that it's actually pretty restrictive. Amenities applies, I think, almost entirely to hotels, maybe to spas, but you know, not everybody can use amenities as a category um, or as a header. Uh, brands. Now this kind of makes a little bit more sense if you have multiple brands that you're offering. Now you can add these to your structured snippets. And we saw that in one of the examples I gave you. Courses is kind of a cool one if, if this is something that you're offering. And you'll notice that Google actually provides some example values here, which is pretty cool. Um, degree programs, that's clearly only applicable to schools. Destinations, so if you're in the travel space, destinations would be kind of cool for you to have. Featured hotels, so here's more of a directory. Um, insurance coverage, that's ultra specific. Uh, models. So, you know, this could be vehicles, but this could be other things too, like toy trains. Um, or, you know, if you have model uh, 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 categories, realize that you can be a little expansive here. Neighborhoods. So this is, you know, probably for like a, a Zillow or, uh, you know, realtor, um, somebody who's serving specific neighborhoods. Honestly, you know, this could be a little bit more expansive too. You could be a, a plumber saying these are the neighborhoods that I service. Um, so get creative. Service catalog. This, I think, is maybe the most generic of all the options here. And for a lot of our clients, this is the only one that applies. So like for me, for my business, service catalog is really the only thing that, that it would apply. And I'm gonna say Google Ads Management, it fits. Um, Facebook Ads Management and uh, Omni Channel Ad Management. Ooh, dang it. Oh, that's good because I just misspelled it because I'm an idiot. Wow, how did I do that? I don't think I could, yeah, 25 characters. Bam, I'm awesome. So that's my service catalog. And if I wanted to add values, I absolutely can, but uh, Google's asking for at least three. So you have to populate it as at least three, but note that you can actually add a ton of them. Now, they're not gonna use all of these in the ad. As a matter of fact, you don't get to decide which structured snippets you, Google uses, or even if it's used. Whenever you're building extensions, you're basically giving Google sort of um, think of them as, you know, like giving Google a big box of Legos. And then every single time there's a search that you're applicable for, Google will in real time construct the ad using that box of Legos um, based off of what it thinks is going to perform the best. And it, it, it uses 
quite a bit. Um, obviously, the context of the search, uh, but it uses demographic and psychographic information from that searcher. Um, and then, you know, of course, whoever else you're, you're going up against from a competitive standpoint, since it's all kind of based off of a, a, an auction model, a, a competitive auction model. Um, but you want to add as many values as you can um, and then make sure the service catalog is applicable to you. Uh, shows, you know, this is maybe more for a theater. Um, styles, if you have different styles, I think this is kind of like a more genericized version of brand. And then types, this again is maybe maybe a little bit more generic, but I think um, service catalog is probably the, the most expansive for service-based organizations. Uh, type is probably the most expansive for um, you know a product company. Uh, but I'm gonna go back to my service catalog. And under the advanced options, this is kind of interesting, you can select mobile. Now, this does not mean that your, your extensions will only show up on mobile. What it means is, that Google is going to prioritize um, mobile devices, but it's still eligible to show up on computers and tablets. Um, so you know, just just be aware that you can't restrict that using this feature, but it does let Google know, hey, we we you know prefer to prioritize mobile more than anything. You can have start and end date with extensions. Um, uh, it's specifically structured snippets. This is kind of cool if you're you know uh, pushing promotional. Um, extension, you know, information, and you, you know, like, hey, I need to pull the plug here at the end of Thanksgiving or whatever, because that's when um, some of these things are no longer applicable. Uh, you can also have a specific schedule, which is kind of cool. I'd caution you against being too aggressive with the ad scheduling because people are searching at all um, days and times, and you don't necessarily want to decrease the value that you're presenting to them. Um, but if there is, for whatever reason, if there's a specific use case where you say, hey, I can only let people see this because if they're calling and they're asking about it, it's only available at certain times, then you can. Um, um, you know, create a specific schedule. Now, I'm not going to save this because I actually don't want this on my campaign because I'm just teaching you how to do stuff. But that's once I save, now that's uh, uh, available to me. Oh, you know, one thing I should show you real quick is you can see the way that the, the um, structured snippets are going to show up, um, which is kind of cool. And uh, we have this little highlight feature that I think is kind of nifty. So um, if you select highlight, then it's going to show you where your structured snippets are going to land. Let me remove mobile there. Um, and then I can see this preview. So here's service catalog, Google ads management, Facebook ads management, on the channel ad management. And you'll notice that it actually expands the real estate um, pretty significantly, actually. So uh, again, as many structured or as many extensions as you could possibly add, and then structured snippets are just a really good uh, potential add-on. I hope you found this value. Um, and uh, if you aren't subscribed, go ahead and do that. I shoot a video every day. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, comment for any questions. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.